Econ 212, Racial Inequality and Discrimination, critically examines the causes and consequences of racial disparities, as well as economic explanations of those disparities. For instance, in our economy, there are very large differences between black households and white households in terms of how much wealth they have. What's really interesting in this class is we take a historical perspective in terms of understanding how that situation came to be. And in exploring those differences, it enables us to understand better how the economy works over time and how different types of inequality are produced. I see Econ 212 as being an essential basis for understanding what's happening in our society today, and in the United States in particular. Part of its objective is to model sort of reasoned conversations about racial and ethnic differences that are grounded in economic reasoning. There's been a lot of discussion, and rightly so, about feeling divided, and that it's very difficult to talk to others that may have a different experience or perspective than you do. We are in the midst of an important racial reckoning in this country, one that has emerged out of the in ongoing inequities and discrimination that people of color have faced in this country because it is very much based in economic experiences, income inequality, differences in health and other measures of well-being. These are all features that have been a part of this racial reckoning and so I think that uh, an important contribution of this class is gaining a better understanding of where those points are coming from. Part of our mission as an educational institution, right, is to establish a foundation for participation in democracy. And I think economic literacy, given its centrality to all of the issues that face us, constitutes then a central part of that baseline literacy.